There is this one thing that you shouldn't expect from women, that if you learn how to walk away without needing this, you'll live a much more peaceful life. This is something that I've encountered numerous times, hundreds of times, with the different women that I've parted ways with. If you learn to deal with this particular notion of female psychology, you will be much more at peace with yourself, with future relationships, and with your past relationships, and with those women that you have loved and that walked away from you. You see, this is something that I've had to train myself to understand, and it only just happened to me very recently. A few months ago, I met this girl in Bucharest that I really liked. We hit it off, we went on four or five dates, it seemed to be going really well, and then I had to leave the country because I was running out of my visa time, I went back to London and then I had to travel to some non-Schengen countries. I found myself in Limassol, Cyprus. I've been traveling the world for 10 years, as you may have heard throughout watching my other videos. And the relationship drifted apart. It wasn't really a relationship. It was a fling at the time. And it really drifted apart because of the distance. And I never really was able to pick up the momentum again with this woman. And I really liked her. And I tried. I did try. I invited her. I, I said I'd pay for her flights and bring her over and spend some time with her, and I tried. I, did, I didn't chase her, I pursued her. There's a very big difference between chasing someone and messaging them every day, and sending them a message once every couple of weeks to see how they're doing, to see if you get anything in response, so that you can escalate the situation. I found that this woman ended up drifting away from me, actually, and I really liked her, and despite having numerous other options, which I always do, this was the one I seemed to really like. And it's funny because they say that you like what you can't have and you don't like what you can have easily. And I, I do agree with that. And the same things apply to female nature towards men. They like what they can't actually have. Hence, m women seem to like men who are married or who have girlfriends and who seem rare and plausible for a good relationship, but they can't actually obtain that man. So what ended up happening was during this drifting apart, I tried to stay in touch, and then when I came back to Romania, when my visa time was reinstated and reset, I tried to reach back out again, and her responses were very cold, very dry, and eventually, she just stopped responding, and it was heartbreaking. I was like, oh, I can't believe I got ghosted. Absolutely hate getting ghosted. So the one thing that I can now reveal to you that you need to not be searching for when it comes to the end of a relationship is closure. I always looked to receive some level of closure. I want to know why this is over. Tell me, what did I do wrong? Was there something I could have done better? It's like you want feedback at the end of the relationship, right? <laughs> closure is almost like feedback or just um, a reassurance on her feelings. Like, just let me know what actually happened. But after many years of dating, again, thousands of women, really beautiful women, and getting the experience, you see the difference between me and the average man online, not even the average man, the difference between me and pretty much 99.9% .9 of men is my vast and varied experience because I've dated so many women, because I've got the balls to approach women in every situation and every environment, and I also, have the time to speak to them because I run my own business and I choose when I can be flexible and when I can speak to these women. Not saying I spend all day doing so, by the way, because that's certainly a massive waste of time. My purpose is the key and that certainly comes first. So by all of this experience, I have learned and understood that the amount of times that a woman has walked away from me or drifted apart or even I've drifted apart and they've ghosted in particular, because ghosting is a very common thing in today's world. It's very easy to just ghost someone and just not respond to them. And women are fantastic at doing this. And recently, I thought to seek some level of closure. I wanted to be like, hey, just wanted to know, haven't seen you in a while. I'd like to meet up with you. It seems like you've, you've drifted apart. What's happened? But that's just not going to work. Because a woman will never really explain to you why she's walked away. And this is a generalization, of course, there are very, very few women out there that will step up and be gracious and say, you know what, 
I've got back with my ex. Or you know what, I found someone else. Or you know what, you weren't the ideal guy that I thought I was looking for. Or you know what, I'm moving abroad and I don't think long distance relationships would work. You as a man want a logical explanation as to why she's walking away. She's a woman. She's an emotional creature. She doesn't necessarily think in logical terms as to why she should explain to you why she's walked away. So I want you to not have this expectation when someone walks away from you. I have certainly, and even at my age, with all this experience, still got hurt in this instance. I was still hurt and still am to a certain degree. I'll get over it. Don't know when, but I'll get over it. I'll meet another woman at some point and this will just be a thing of the past because time, of course, is the greatest healer when it comes to relationships. There and then it's the most painful thing, but over time and months and years of you improving your life, you will eventually seek comfort in someone else and she'll be a distant memory in the past and hopefully a good memory. So there you have it. Do not seek closure from a woman because you won't really get it unless she's willing to be logical about the scenario, which I haven't come across many times. If you've come across women that have been logical and that have given you the reason why they've walked away, please leave your scenario in the comments. I'd love to read it because I don't come across many of these situations. So in general, a woman will ghost you and not give you an explanation. Should you go out there and ask for this explanation? Most of the time, the answer is no, you shouldn't. You should just drift apart yourself, work on yourself and find someone new. As difficult as that is to actually do, I know some of you will end up reaching out to these women. If it's a long-term girlfriend and you've been together for five years and she suddenly ghosts you, then of course you are entitled to some sort of explanation. But if it's a short fling or this stupid word I hear, situationship, I hate these new dumb words in this modern era, then don't expect her to get back to you because ultimately she feels like she owes you nothing. But if she's been with you for a long time, she definitely at least owes you an explanation. So don't expect the closure, my bros. Again, keep focusing on yourself. Join my school community. Improve your life. Please like this video. It's great for the algorithm. Share this with someone who's probably going through a tough time who's seeking closure with someone. And subscribe for more content on how to understand female psychology so that you can keep improving your dating life. Till the next time.